From broken glass to empty bottles, the impact of Sunday's quadruple shooting are all around. Disappointed that, um, first of all, that people can come together and have some fun. What was dubbed as a night of fun was upended by gun violence after a shooting happened, which resulted in a person dying and three others being taken to the hospital in critical condition. Hours after the shooting, nearby businesses are left picking up the pieces following a barrage of gunshots being fired. Just the fact that, you know, things, you know, like this is becoming normal in our community is really, it's really just a sad way to live. Feet away from where the shooting happened near Park Avenue and Shotwell Street, a feeling of concern lingers for neighbors. But I don't think there's a sense of fear. There is a sense of frustration. John Carroll is president of the Normal Neighborhood Association, and one of his biggest concerns is the rise in crime. Since the beginning of the year, there have been more than 1,400 crimes reported in the area, according to data from the city. One thing I would like to see is a greater focus on community policing. It would be a wonderful thing for us to have, but also community engagement and involvement That's where it all starts. With his homicide, Memphis police says there have been at least 239 homicides, which is less than this same time last year. Despite the progress, many say there's still work to be done. People have gotten to, to the point where what seems right is, is, is lame. And what seems wrong is exciting. So I think we need to find a way to reverse that. And that was Jordan James reporting. At last check, there's been no arrest. Police are asking anyone with information to call Crime Stoppers.